Do you feel like coming to Brazil someday? I would love to, man. I feel like you guys are so amazing over there. I don't know why people don't go there more often. How long have you been on for? Uh, I'm not really sure. Did you ever collab with CNCO? You guys are my favorite bands. Please, I would cry. Man, one day. I don't see why not. Those lights. This is the ceiling. Isn't that crazy? You're coming back to Alabama soon. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure. You guys should collab with AJ Mitchell. That's our boy. Um... Do you see yourself in a year? Shit. Um, in a year? Sam. I think... <clears throat> I think... A year from now... In real life... Is gonna finally have like. Hmm, let me let me think. I feel like all of us are gonna become like closer and closer to our strongest selves, like individually, and I think that's gonna create a really dope new vibe for this group. Um, I think within a year we're gonna have figured out a a pretty good sound. That's what I. That's what I think. You'll finally have your sleeve. Yeah, I got, I mean, I got two tattoos in a year so far. So. Yeah, I, I mean, man, I hope I, um. Man, I, I would love to see, like, a, I feel like a sleeve would look really cool. Asia tour. Oh, maybe, maybe we'll finally get to go to Asia. What do you, would you want to hear stories? Stories from your fans, how they said I would do things. Yeah, man, I mean, y'all can always DM me, I'll always, I'll always, I'll just try my best to sometimes come in and read a few. I'm on it. Maybe closer than you think. I've already been to Asia. Yeah, yeah. But like... I know the Philippines is an island, right? So... I don't know. It's not really like... Asia, it's the Philippines. Yeah, it is Asia. I'm just playing. Um, nah, I just mean like places like China or Tokyo. I've always wanted to go to Japan. And an Asian tour, like, like one where we go to multiple countries. That'd be cool. What's your next freestyle going to be? Man, I'm working on it, brother. I'm working on it. I'm trying to get myself back to writing because I feel like I have. Oh shit! I feel like I have. I feel like I have a new voice, and I feel like I've I've adjusted. And I'm growing into something else right now. It's hard to write music right now for me, for whatever reason. So. Yeah. Favorite song from Hotel Diablo? Um, man, I really like Roulette, Roulette, or whatever it is. Um, however you pronounce that. Um, I really like Glass House. I really like Death in My Pocket. Um,
favorite song from Chance the Rapper's new album? Um, I haven't listened to the whole thing yet. Who are you? Ha <laughs> Boy Tommy! Do you like musicals? Yeah, man. Musicals are sick. Favorite song off NF's last album? No, I actually did listen to this album, and I thought it was really good. I like I like Change a lot. Change is a good one. My Stress is really good. Nate is really good. Um, time. Great. Honestly, he had, like, a lot of really good songs. Like, there's Leave Me Alone, which is cool. Um, but Change. Change, I think. Change, I was really impressed. That guy's really good. Um... I was, I've been watching um, J. Cole's... J. Cole had a special on HBO for his Forest Hills Drive Tour, and I've been watching um, the last episode, which is his show in um, Fayetteville, North Carolina, the place where he's from. And I just, like... I don't know. I saw, I saw... I love watching stuff like that, those full circle moments where you, you finally drop that album, that body of work that is appreciated and consumed the way that you intended and... and came off organically and natural and this is your your biggest tour like you gained the most support from your fans and new new fans and people all over the country to like sell out amphitheaters and arenas and then you do the final show in in your hometown and that's like the arena that you went to went to see as a kid like either your favorite sports team or whatever the case may be like that's crazy man so, yeah, dude. Yeah, waiting for that future album. For sure. Like, that's a crazy feeling. That's something I really admire. Are you guys performing in Orlando? Yeah, we are on Friday. Yeah. Damn, um, are you excited to perform Friday? Yeah, Orlando shows tomorrow, Jacksonville's on Friday. Oh, tight, okay. Yeah, yeah, any fans who, who don't know, um, I'm gonna try to find the flyer or something. What state do you live in? I've been living in California for a while. In Los Angeles. Um, I reside in Cleveland, I guess. Go to sleep there, you keep yawning. Yeah, low key, I do have to. I've been hella tired recently. <laughs> have you ever been rude to your fans or been annoyed by them? Um, my, like, what I would consider a fan, I've never been annoyed by. The people who are disrespectful aren't fans, in my opinion. You're 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 looking at this in another way. You're not consuming it. You're not consuming the the idea of like um I don't know. You're not consuming it for the right reasons. You're all about the the cloud and what's going on in the community, I guess. <laughs> and what's the latest stuff? Like I feel like I feel like a fan is someone, I don't know, like, someone who just has a genuine imp- appreciation and, and respect for you and, like, is, in, is in inspired and um, is thankful. And that, that's why that's why I think it's so important to me because I, I've, I've just noticed that about it. And it's like, a, you know... So, like, whenever someone who's, like, a true fan, and I know you or I've seen you, like, online or something, 
it's always love and it will always be nothing but love and i i love talking to you guys for real when someone's gonna come up and either uh put their phone in my face and uh tells me like some hurtful shit to my face then not as cool yeah so like i don't know man i think i think you guys are i think you guys are the most important part of all this because that's ultimately what this is all for is to you know um have something to say have something that resonates with people we want we want to connect people we want to connect to people as well um just lots of connections <laughs> that's what that's what we're searching for um that that's like one of the most important parts of all this to me is the is a fan base and um that means more than just like oh a lot of people like my shit to me it's like it's like that's the that's the whole if, like if i'm trying to reach a certain type of people like i got to I gotta be a great person for that. I gotta do this the right way. So, like, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it. I'm just, uh, I think, I think I'm a fan. I'm such a fan of other people. So I think that I have a, I automatically kind of am able to, like, kind of see what I would want from, you know, a fan of, a fan of myself. I don't like like I always wonder if I'm gonna be doing these live streams forever because I feel like is that giving people too much access to me like is it too much access or is that what I have to do right now is that like just the climate of things but it's hard like putting like so much of yourself out there um like, all the people I grew up, like, idolizing, I, I never was able to... Well, we didn't have, like, Instagram and stuff. So it was, like... It was, like, TV, basically. And I, that was before I was, like, really on the internet, for real. So... Yeah. I didn't really have, like, that kind of access. It was, like, if I could find a YouTube video, I'd watch the music videos. I would watch as many interviews as I could but that was where you got your um your access to them to their personality their character but now it's all controlled by the artist so media has shifted immensely especially with the lack of popularity when it comes to television um compared to what it what it has always been like is insane so it's all about your platform and it's it's really it's this right here and it's so weird to think about like the fact that a lot of my business and uh, my my future in my career